food. Let's eat it. Oh. Looks pretty good. Eat the fucking shit out of that. What is this? Just a giant bowl of rice. Okay, so now I have some chopsticks that I'm not going to eat the sushi with. Dude, eat the sushi. Chopstick the fuck out of it. <sighs> okay. What's that? Oh, shit. Why'd you put it in there? Okay. Let's call her. Oh, wait, I could use my phone with the Wi-Fi now, right? Okay. Oh. Uh. Oh. Interesting. Interesting, indeed. Okay. I just fucking tried. You try again? Psychopath. Amanda Rice. Oh, hi, now she answers. Amanda, it's me, John, from the plane. John, I was wondering if I'd see you again. What's up? It just so happens that your company has published a writer I'm looking for. Leopold Kovacs, his name. Hey, maybe you could put me in contact with him. That way I could meet him, and after settling our business affairs, I could spend the rest of the day visiting New York with you. Good idea. I was starting to think that your maybe was just a diplomatic no. Let me check out the Kovac thing. I'll tell you more tomorrow. Hmm. Exhausted. Not even dinner. What? Fucking wasted the sushi. Upset. Answer the phone. Hello? John, yesterday? They told me that you want to see me. My name is Leopold Kovac. When can you come? Now. Right now. Okay. Um, write my address now. Look at this guy. Sorry. The fuck? Was I just robbed? I feel like I was just robbed. I'll get right to the point, Mr. Kovac. No, no. There's no need. Take your time. I have all day for you. <laughs> there's no emergency. Ask me. I'll be completely honest. We're here to help, aren't we? That seems weird. Why exactly did you write about the cursed book? It was a Tradex assignment. In the beginning, it was not a book. It was a private investigation for an anonymous sponsor. He paid me good money. And I said to myself, hey, Leopold, you mustn't miss this opportunity. No, no, you're not a kid anymore. You have an ex-wife and three cats to feed. And, and, and also... Jesus Christ. Did you ever find the cursed book? 
No, no. The, the trick with these things is to not find them. Because if you do, say goodbye to the mystery. And without the mystery, uh, you say goodbye to your sales. I just made up some theories on its supposed origins and wrote some anecdotes that my informant told me, like the one about the painting. I've written seven books about lost relics, and I've always been very careful never to investigate too much. You see? We're this guy's worthless. Police! Are we? The first one was Nefertiti's tomb, where I narrated the... Which was amazing, because I... And who was that so-called informant? I only know his surname, Scarpetta. He contacted me while I was researching in the Vatican. He promised to tell me all sorts of legends about the book if I published my own book about it. I asked Travix, and they liked the idea. Do you think you could find him? No, no, he always contacted me in the strangest of ways. I, uh, no. Maybe he's a criminal, and he's afraid that I might call the authorities. People are so weird. The other day, this guy at the Venice office, he looks at me, he says, You, you... Jesus Christ. <clears throat> exactly which theories about its origins did you find? They speak of similar books in the Sumerian and Viking Chronicles, and even in certain fragments excluded from the Bible. In my book, I reasoned they could all be our cursed book. But <laughs> who knows? I'll be honest here, because I trust you, okay? I don't think there's a single connection, no. No. But one does have to sell books, of course. <laughs> I did something similar in Forge of oh, the Oh, God. Queen, my third book. Did you read it? Did... No. Anyway. What can you tell me about the relationship between the Order of the Flesh and the book? According to my informant, it was a satanic sect founded by some Gerard, some Jim, Jerry, I don't know. Hines? Hines? No, no. Anyway, it's all in my book. <laughs> the thing is that they were in Ireland. No, uh, Scotland. They were in search of the Philosopher's Stone, and, uh, no, that wasn't it. This guy. You mentioned a painting. Yes, according to my informant, somewhere in the Vatican, there's a painting showing the cursed book. He even showed me a picture, the, the one I used for my book's cover. But the cover illustration for my fifth book, okay. Montezuma's Lost Gold. Did, did you read? Anyway, it's even more interesting. This guy. I really should be going now. It's getting late. No, 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 it's not late. It's early. Are you sure you don't want to stay? Maybe we can eat something while I tell you. Sure, to his own. yeah. Well, maybe on another occasion. I'm much obliged, Mr. Kovac. You see how easy it was to do me this little favor, Leopold? Oh, Jesus Christ. And we've managed to keep seven fingers unharmed. It could have been much worse. Huh. Where's your phone? What you do with your phone, guy? Why am I able to even do that? Why does it matter? That was weird. Why can I do that? Can I, do that? I couldn't do it on the other pillar. I can't click the zipper or anything like that. Huh, whatever. Let's look at this one again. That yeah, was weird. Um, okay. Go away. 
Don't look for me. I've already found you. Relax. Have some dinner. I've heard that you make an ex they make an excellent Diablo here. Excellent devil. I don't know. Okay. No phone. Um, well, fuck. Let's order some Diablo, I suppose. This is John yesterday. I think I left my phone at your place. Will you phone me at the hotel if you find it? Do you have Diablo? You mean the burrito? Burrito Diablo? Yes, I guess. Can you please have one sent to my room? Of course, sir. Huh. Will you please wake me tomorrow at 8 a.m.? Of course. Lots of work? No, actually, I don't even know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I think I lost my cell. Maybe I left it somewhere in the hotel. Let me see. Hmm. If it's here, we haven't found it yet. All right. Okay. Hmm. The Diablo. All righty. What if the devil himself were inside? Dude, open this fucking food and let's get to eating. What the fuck? I ain't no burrito. Huh. Well. Can this help me solve that? Two, three, four, five. Hmm. Okay, so that just shows me that again. How the fuck? What the fuck's the password? Letters Trebek or not Trebek. <laughs> um, Royce is five letters. Diablo is six. Christ, that music was not expected. This is ex boyfriend. Okay. It itches. Your hand itches. Oh, where the scar used to be. It was butt. And your back is cute too, said Amanda when she stepped on the plane to go relieve herself yourself from the margarita. Hmm. Okay. The movement on this is so like clunky. Sometimes it moves smoothly and sometimes like I'm like picking my mouse up like six times to get this little bit of movement here. I, don't, I feel like there's a point to being able to look behind this, but so far I haven't found one. Alright, let's see if I can call anyone different now. No signal. What the fuck? 
Wait. Okay. All right. Let's try Royce. R. I don't think so. Could do what the fuck is. Diablo. Devil? D E V I L? Oh, maybe that's it. in your life which one was the worst could it be genius I bet it is actually this is the worst why could this not be a scrolly thing I'm gonna try genius first G I Recently, <clears throat> listened to an audiobook for Insomnia by Stephen King, and I swear they had the same musical artist as this game. Like, and I hated the music. And I, it's not that I hate the music in this, but like the. It's just. Oh, like that right there. I hate it. I hate it. Ah! Fuck, I was right. Holy shit. Okay. What we got? 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 The fuck was it? A memory stick. Okay. What the fuck did I do with that? Does this work yet? Okay. Well, get out of here. Indeed. What's on it? Okay, well, what the fuck else can I click on? There's a hotel in Manhattan not far from the northern entrance of Central Park. Okay. Does this map do anything special here? Can I click on anything? Nothing's like highlighting, so I don't think I can. Okay. Um, I thought maybe the TV had a USB adapter or something. Um, okay. All right. All right. All right. Does the TV really not have a USB? Oh, I can move it. <gasps> it does have a USB. Give me a fucking USB cable to plug that shit in. My name is John Yesterday. In the meantime, if you want. I don't speak this language. That's Danish. Bad Danish, actually. Nonetheless, you understand it. Okay. We'll meet at dawn. Where? Across the street. Want to know the exact location? Sleep on it. I 
knew that fucker. Sorry. I knew I'd been robbed. Can I, like, see the location now that I've... No. Oh, yeah, yeah, here we go. Sleep on it, they say. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, now I can slowly move this motherfucker here. Oh, God, it's the worst. It's like very dramatic, cause zooming in on this pillow. Uh, uh, oh, we're almost there. We almost did it. Aha. Uh -huh. Ultraviolet flashlight. Okay. Did you have to be a fucking spy to figure this game out? Can I do anything with this this map yet? Aha! Uh -huh. Show me the way. Show it to me. Maybe this is not what I thought was going to happen. I swear this is the same music from the Insomnia audiobook. Just stole the fucking soundtrack, I swear to you. <laughs> 